Cal and welcome to my world. So a little bit of a different setup today uh, just to make it easier for one of these videos. Basically I'm going to be doing an unboxing and tasting of another Sweet Packs mystery box. I've done one of these uh, a few months ago and basically ever since then they just keep emailing me oh you haven't made an order recently and then literally in the past couple of days they must have sent me about 20 emails within a two day period like, oh, we take a hint, you don't want us anymore, wah, wah, wah. And sending me increasingly large discount vouchers until it got to the final email they sent me, 50% off, so I thought, why not? I wasn't planning on getting another one before, 50% off, so I, I um, got one of the larger ones this time. This one normally goes for £40, 50% off, so yeah, much cheaper. So... Like I said, different setup. I've got a chair, my chair to sit down, and a little table here just because it's going to make it a lot easier, a lot better. So I did actually record a second one of these type videos after the Sweet Packs one. I got one from another website and I hated how it had been recorded and I've never put the footage out there. So yeah, let's just uh, get started then with this one. So sweet packs, obviously they do mainly American sweets. They do a mixture, I think you can get one of American and British. I think this is just an American taster one. So yeah, this one normally goes for £40. It's the non-drinks version because I didn't want to be bogged down with cans of pop. Yeah, whatever. So let's uh, just open up and see what's inside, shall we? So first up, a nice little wrapper. What's this? Uh, want to win free subscription? Post uh, your order on any social media and tag us with a chance of winning. Okie dokie. I'll do that because if it's free, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll happily eat. Right, so, pretty sure there's... Uh, wow, there's quite a lot of stuff in here. I wonder how much is, um, what do you call it, repeat from the last box that I had. Okie dokie. 15% discount code of another order. Okay, throw that over there. So let's start with this first bag. Sweet Tarts Mini Chewy. Okie dokie. So we've got cherry, lemon, green apple, grape and orange. Okie dokie. Uh, crap, I don't have my scissors. I can't find them. Let's hope I can open up the packets anyway, shall we? Let's see what we've got. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Okay, these are a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. These are tiny little balls of chewiness. So I've got a grape and a green apple. Okay. That was odd. I was expecting them to be a bit more chewy. They were more the more crumbly. Okay, that one definitely had the taste of apple. The grape couldn't really taste much with that one. Okie dokie, let's just uh, put those over there. Next up, ooh, <laughs> Mike and Ike Mega Mix Sour, 10 flavours. I love me some sour stuff. Let's see, we got sour zapping apple, sour slamming strawberry, sour screaming cherry, sour juicy lemon. Sour Pucker Punch, Sour Green Limeade, Sour Pine Power Pineapple, Sour Watermelon Wipeout, Sour Grape Soda, Sour Shocking Raspberry. Okie dokie. Let's see if these are actually going to be sour. Ooh. I noticed some other stuff in there that looks quite nice. Right, okay. So these are odd little cat jewel things. What flavour is this? I think this might be the Booker Punch. Ooh, kind of like a hard outer shell and soft and squidgy on the inside. Oh, that is nice. Bit of sourness to them, yes. Not the most, but uh, better than a lot of other things I've had in the past. Really flavourful. Mm. Come on, no. Well, I want a specific Another one I want. Yeah, I think this is either the raspberry or the strawberry. 
Oh, that is good. That's really fruity flavoured as well. Mmm. Ooh, Mike and Ike. Well done. Oh, that's good. Right. We've got some M&M's. Big fan of M&M's. Um, these ones I've not had before. We don't get these over here. Is that white chocolate? Ooh, didn't know they did white chocolate. I've had the caramel ones. Mmm, caramel's lovely. But white chocolate, yes. I'm all over these. If I can get into them somehow. There we go. Nice crispy shells on the outside and chocolate on the inside. And of course it's white chocolate this time. See? White. Good stuff. Ugh. I've noticed a definite repeat. You seem to get these in every kind of these boxes. Swedish fish. Personally, I think they taste like crap. So I'm not even going to bother opening those and trying them. I'll give them to either mum or my dad who will eat them. Oh, how about a packet of crisps? We got um, hers jalapeno flavoured cheese curls. Okie dokie. Not heard of this brand before. Well, let's give them a try. There we go. Look like a giant what's it? Got a Cheeto. Okay, there's the cheesy flavour. Um, waiting for the jalapeno to kick in. Uh, a little bit right at the end there, after I'd already eaten one. They taste really nice, they do. They definitely don't taste just like cheese, but there's barely any jalapeno kick to them. But um, I could eat a pack of those easily enough. And I probably will. Hmm. Another one for the good pile. What the hell is this? Oh, <laughs> that was a sticker. Um, yeah, oh, what we got here? Hubba Bubba Bubble Tap Sour Blue Raspberry Bubblegum. Six feet of fun. <sighs> Okie dokie. So, uh, let's tear that off there. Let's open this up. There we go. And, yeah. Okay, so there we go, we've got some blue raspberry bubble gum. Yep, it's um hubba bubba bubble gum. Let's just put that in there. Yep, tasty enough, you know. Do you want some bubble gum? Nice enough stuff. I don't think I need six feet of it, but uh, there we go. Uh, what? Uh, well, this is so disappointing. White Hershey's chocolate, which would be great, but it's got bloody whole almonds in it, and I uh, I don't like nuts at all. So uh, that's a big disappointment for me there. What a shame. What a shame. Right. What else have we got in here? New. Fruiner's Fruiner slabs. What the hell is a Fruiner? Uh, artificially strawberry flavoured. Okay. Um, so it's just your know, chewy slab uh, for strawberry flavoured stuff. Very artificially flavoured. Wow, um, I don't think I've had one that tastes that artificial before. Jesus Christ. I think the most real strawberry thing about it is the cartoony picture of a strawberry on the front of it. Yeah, um, not particularly good. <laughs> right, ooh, ooh, what do we have here? Pop tarts. Ooh, got some pop tarts in the last one and I bloody loved them. I've been looking out to buy them and they're a right rip-off of like four quid for six. Jeez, I'm not paying that. So, Pop-Tarts, Pretzels, Cinnamon Sugar. Ooh, 
not really a big cinnamon fan to be honest. Uh, right, what, uh, what else? Okie dokie, yeah. So ideally these do need to be warmed up to eat, I found them. So I'm going to give them a try, but I'll put it on at the end after I microwave them. Uh, sorry, not microwave, but toast them and eat them that way. Um, be more chance of me actually liking it. Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, we got a bazooka. Uh, bits more for a bazooka, if you ask me, but uh, okay. No other information. Don't know what flavour it is. If it's bubblegum or an actual chewy sweet. Okay, let's open it up. There we go, it's a slab of something. Can't tell what it's supposed to be. No idea what the hell that was, but it was vile. Oh, that did... What? The, I don't even know what that taste was. I still don't know if it was chewing gum or bubble gum or a chewy sweet or what. Oh, uh, what was this now? Now and later, the long-lasting chew stood all berry. So is, is this a bubble gum? Or just a normal chew? Chewy sweet? Safety warning, small objects such as hard and soft candies, blah blah blah, can get stuck in your throat, okay. Um, yay, there we go. Uh, long lasting chew, why is it long lasting? What's so special about it? it makes it longer lasting. It doesn't look like they'll last very long, it looks like a few chews and they'll be done. Look like a, a, a giant chew it. Like it looks like a chew it, it's like they say it kinda of looks like it's been squished down and made, you know longer. Okay, so it just looks like a, a chew it. Yeah. Soft chew. Oh, it's very hard, that might be why it's a long lost in one. Mm, it's like a chew it that's been left in the fridge. Literally the same flavour. <laughs> There's also a tropical punch flavour. I won't bother trying those, it looks like this, but tropical flavour. A bit stuck in my teeth there. Uh, yeah, tasty enough. Um, uh, I'll happily eat those as well. Those were quite nice. What have we got here? Oh, a Swedish fish on its own. You've given us a big box of them. Why an individual one? Right. Um, okay, we've got Airhead, six bars. Individually wrapped. Nice uh, flavours. Watermelon, blue raspberry, white mystery. Why a mystery flavour? I don't want a mystery flavour. I want to know what the fuck it is. <sighs> White mystery, cherry, orange and grape. White mystery. That, that's not a flavour. <sighs> Christ. Anyway, yeah. Come in. Little. Oh, cracky. A bit bigger than I thought they were. Individually wrapped. Ah, oh, well, there's six though. Watermelon, not the biggest fan of, so I'm not bother trying that one on camera. Uh, let's see. Okay, we've got the white mystery one. Surely it has to tell you somewhere what the flavour is. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'll give that one a try in a second after I try a flavour that I know. Blue raspberry, can't go on with blue raspberry, it's one of the best flavours out there. Yeah, that's a nice blue raspberry one, so it's just going to be like a chew thing, I guess, like this thing, but hopefully with more flavour. Right. Okay, nice and blue. Smells good. Mm. 
Mm, no, they're very artificial, just like the other one. Like, really bad. Oh. So, I have to get the flavour of that out. Oh, that, that, uh, but yeah. So, let's see what the hell white mystery is. It's a mystery. Is it just me or does that not look appetising with it being white like that? Couldn't for the life of you tell you what flavour that is. Really is a mystery. Okay, so I guess they kind of got the name right there because it's a massive mystery what the hell that flavour is and why anyone would want it. Yeah, not particularly good those. Very, very, very artificially flavoured. Okay, we've got some runts. Uh, candy flavour with other natural flavours. What's candy flavour? Okay, anyway, yeah. Loud. I wonder if these are maybe going to be like um, nerds that you get. You know, tiny little pieces of hard candy. Oh, they're actually sort of in the, kind of almost a little bit in the shape of what they're supposed to be. Uh, so we have a um, mm, heart flavour. It's strawberry. And a grape. Let's try. Yeah. Kind of like a bigger version of nerds, but with uh, multiple flavours. <sighs> nice enough. <sighs> Reese's Pieces. Peanut butter flavour stuff I do not like at all. Hey Mr Paddy, these are going to be yours. Assuming uh, they're not due up before the next time I actually see you. Oh, May of next year. Perfect for your birthday. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's put those away. Save that for last, I think. Oh, yes. Some sour skittles. We get these over here, but um, I'm happy to get some sour skittles in the, uh, in the bag, the box, whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh no, these are slightly different. Okay, these these are very different to the sour skittles we get. We get skittles, it's just the normal shell and then the inside sour. These appear to have the sugary sourness on the outside than it's normal inside. A bit of an odd choice, but uh, nice nonetheless. Okay, and then we've got a Kit Kat. Always got to have some sort of Kit Kat. And it's white chocolate. Quite a lot of white chocolatey things in this one. That is good. More white chocolate, less bloody peanutty nut shite. Right. Right. This looks better than the birthday cake flavour one we got last time. Yeah, so it's just Kit Kat but with white chocolate. Next we've got uh, something I'm very excited about. Ooh, the box is starting to tip over because there's only one item left in it. There we go. Hershey's Miniatures. Yeah, so what have we got inside? Uh, a Nutty Good Bar. Sadly won't be eating that. Rich Hershey's Special Dark. Ooh, dark chocolate. A uh, Normal Hershey's Creamy Bar. And a crispy crackle. Ooh. So yeah, apart from the nutty one, these are all good. Okie dokie. Let's uh, break into these and have a try at uh, one of the ones that I haven't had before. Just going to pour them all out in here. Yeah. Right, so we've got the, the nutty ones. Yeah, won't we'll be eating those because they've got nuts in. We've got the uh, Crispy Crackle, might give that one a try. We've got the regular Hershey, 
Yep, yeah, had that loads of times in the past. And we have the special dark. Mm, I like dark chocolate as well. I'll try the crispy rice one first. I'm guessing this is just like a rice crispy inside it. <sighs> Doopy -doop -doo. There we go. See all the rice crispies coming through. Yep, nice enough. And now let's have the dark chocolate. I don't think I've had Hershey's dark chocolate before. There we go. It tastes more like uh, cooking chocolate that we get here rather than, um, you know, like a Bourneville dark chocolate. Nice enough as it is, but it does f taste really cheap. Like I said, nice enough. Um, probably wouldn't eat a full bar of that, so little miniatures like this is nice. Just have one every so often. So, lastly now, um, put some stuff in here to stop that from falling over. So, lastly, these I'm really looking forward to trying. Lion Wild Crush Caramel and Chocolate. I haven't had a lion bar in bloody ages. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see what these are like. Mm. Yes. Mm. <coughs> okay, so the little bite things like this, uh, you know, they do lots of stuff. I can't remember the names of anything, but yeah, they do a lot of cereal like it. Um, so let's uh, give it a try. Tasty. Um, I didn't get any caramel in there. Let's try another one. Yeah, okay. They taste really nice. They do. They're definitely moreish. But uh, yeah, no, no taste of caramel. No hint of it. You just get the uh, the shell stuff, whatever the hell it's made out of. I don't know what it actually is. <coughs> Yeah, maize is something probably, some sort of corn plant. And then a bit of chocolate in the middle. I think they, call, they do something similar called Crave over here, I think it is. Yeah, cereal not really my thing, but yeah, mm, I could certainly munch on the full bag of these. Mm, mm, mm. Nice enough. So... All I've got left is to try the pretzel pop tarts. I'll do that just after this. I'll um, toast it, put it at the end. So, all in all, a lot of good stuff in this one. Liked almost everything. There's just a couple of things to be nuts in that I don't like. And, uh, you know, the really, really, really artificially flavoured chews there. But everything else is great. Now, this box normally would set you back £40. It is not worth £40, to be quite honest. Now, if you're American and you were to buy all of these individually, it probably cost less than half of that. Buying the this American stuff over here, yeah, it's a lot more expensive, and therefore would probably work out much cheaper to buy a box like this. But at the same time, it's like, is it really worth paying, you know, like £4 for a white chocolate Kit Kat when you can get like a pack of 20 for two quid of normal Kit Kats that we do get over here? You know, um, things like that. We can, you can just buy our sweets and our crisps and they're just as tasty, if not more so in, you know, some cases. Um, so, yeah, like I say, it's nice as a one-off thing. I only really got it because it had that 50% off voucher that they sent me normally wouldn't have paid that i would not have paid the full amount the 20 pound that i got it for i might have done for the box this size not for the smaller one yeah so that is sweetpacks.co.uk if you're interested if not uh yeah don't bother going to it so i'd be cal thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time okay we've got the mm, yummy pretzel cinnamon sugar flavored pop tarts so let's go stick one of these in the, uh, the toaster and see what they taste like. Okay, fresh.
out of the toaster. It smells awful. It smells like brown sugar you use for cooking. Mm. Ah! Oh, that's gross. Oh, there we go. Stop now. <laughs> Jesus, that's bad. I'll do that. Uh, okay.